Hello! I am so, so excited to be... We're here for a second season, y'all. Like, I did my reflections on season one. If you haven't listened to it, go back, listen in. Um, But what I will say is, one, I'm excited about season two for a couple of reasons. The first reason being that the dream continues, you know, and that's something to be excited about. That's something to be passionate about and definitely something to celebrate. Um, I'm starting season two a little bit earlier than I expected, but I mean, I had so much fun with season one. I was like, let's get it going. Um, and thanks to COVID-19, we're all in the house. We're all bored. So why not be productive? Why not, uh, record some new episodes? So I've had the opportunity to partner with a lot of amazing, amazing humans walking this earth. Um, and the interesting thing is season one was completely comprised of people that I have personal relationships with. One, let's acknowledge how dope that is. Like I'm connected to some really, really, really dope people. Okay. Every single person on season one, I knew personally and have known for years. Okay. My circle is lit y'all. Okay. Lit. Okay. <laughs> So for season two, I decided to expand it a little bit more. Um, Everyone is still dope. Everyone is still lit. But I'm also expanding my network, expanding my repertoire, getting to know new people, all that fun jazz, um, and getting to know some really, really phenomenal humans as well. So I'm not the type of person that's like, no new friends. And, I, you know, I'm only with my A1s, my day ones. I love some. My A1s and my day ones are dope. But that does not mean I can't expand my network. That does not mean I can't get to know new people. That does not mean I can't form new relationships in addition to. Okay? Okay. So season, I'm excited about season two because the dream continues. I'm also excited about season two because it's definitely pushing me as a business owner. It's pushing me as a creative and it's pushing me as an entrepreneur to want to further develop my craft, get better at what I do, all that fun stuff and making sure that I am providing valuable content. I never want to be the person that just puts stuff out just because I'm not that person. You, you're not going to get that from me, which is part of the reason why I decided to do a seasonal podcast as opposed to um, some podcasts who go week by week. Um, that is something I'm considering for 2021, but I have to make sure that if I'm going to put out an episode every single week for a year, I need to make sure that this podcast content is going to be valuable. I don't want to just drop into your inbox just because... Um, So if you're subscribed to this podcast, you're getting the notifications when the episodes are ready. I want you to be excited that a new episode of the Chasing Dreams podcast is available. And so that's why I've gone into the seasonal route. There will be a season three in 2020. Excited about that too. Um, But I do want to take the time to make sure that every episode is intentional. Make sure every episode is impactful. And make sure every episode is informational. Okay? Okay. So, and if you have not subscribed to the Chasing Dreams podcast, just hit the subscribe button. It's not complicated. Just hit it. Just subscribe. That's it. That's it. And if you want to take another step and leave a review, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited about the Chasing Dreams podcast turning into its second season. I wanted to take a moment to catch you up with what we got going on. Um, so as you guys know, or may not know, um, I am a motivational speaker. Thanks to Miss Rona. Um, there have been challenges in the speaking world just because a lot of people are not having events. Got it. Makes sense. However, a lot of people are turning into virtual events. So uh, my nonprofit, not Life After Loss nonprofit, which follow us on the gram, Life After Loss nonprofit, literally. 
That's it. <laughs> Uh, my nonprofit is hosting virtual workshops every month for the rest of 2020. Free virtual workshops. So if you're listening to this in May, uh, May is Date Your Mate Month. Okay. So we are bringing in a panel of conversations, um, a panel of people who um, make intentional strides to date their mate. Let's just say that. Um, so it's definitely going to be an amazing conversation. I'm excited about it. Um, definitely make sure you uh, follow us on Instagram so you can get that link. The link is in our bio. Register. It's free. Okay. Come on out. Um, so that's something we have going on on the nonprofit front in September. Uh, from September 18th through the 20th, we are having our fourth annual Loving Me Conference. Ah! So excited. Um, It is a three-day conference for personal development, business development, networking, panels, workshops, everything you need to take your dreams and chase them strategically. This year's theme is vision and clarity. It is 2020 after all. You see what we did there. (laughs) So we will be talking about vision and clarity. We have some amazing workshops lined up. We have amazing panels lined up. We are doing the due diligence to make sure that every person who comes to this event walks away with a notebook full of notes, okay? And not only that, we have some dope vendors lined up. If you're interested in being a vendor, definitely um, hit us up on the gram at Life After Loss Nonprofit. Um, Just let us know you want to be a vendor. We'll send you the vendor application. Super, super, super excited. Um... We have space for a few more speakers, so, you know, let us know if you are interested in that. We'll get you that speaker application so we can go ahead and vet those out as well. Um, Again, Life After Loss Nonprofit on the gram. Personally, um, I am, and actually the day this episode airs, okay, the day the episode airs. Let me, hold on, let me check and make sure I got that schedule right. Ah, nope, we're a week early. So the day the episode airs, um, I will be one week shy of my four year anniversary. Y'all, how dope is that? Okay. Um, so I'll be a year shy, a, a week shy of my four year anniversary as a business owner. But not only that, y'all. I am a month shy from being a one year in as a full time entrepreneur. Whew. If anybody's a full time entrepreneur, y'all know how I feel right now, okay? Just hitting that one year mark is a blessing, okay? To get to wake up every day and do what I love, do what I enjoy, get to connect and make impact on the lives of others, positive impact on the lives of others is a beautiful thing. I do not take it for granted. Um, I try to remain as just gracious and grateful because I know it's a blessing. I know it's a blessing. It is something that I worked incredibly hard to get to, but I will say maintaining this full-time entrepreneur status has been nothing but God. Okay? Nothing but God. Um, so yes, I'm very excited about that. Definitely go on my website. I have some eBooks, some digital trainings. We're stuck in the house. Um, or, you know, so make sure you are, and if you are no longer stuck in the house, cause I know some States are slowly reopening. Um, if you're no longer stuck in a house, great. But I do have digital trainings and digital ebooks available on my website, www.nicolesnetwork.net. Make sure you check them out. Lots and lots of good information. Again, I don't put out anything that I don't feel would truly be impactful on the lives of others. Um, definitely also follow me on the gram at Tierra Nicole Riley. Holla at your girl. <laughs> I'm very active on the gram. Say, hey, pop in my DMs. Let me know what you need, how I can help, whatever. If you have questions, comments, concerns, um, definitely check that out. Um, Peruse through my website. See if there's anything you want, anything you need. I got a couple t-shirts on there. Okay. 
okay. So definitely check those out. Um, what else we got going on? We got this podcast. Hey. <laughs> um, book number four will be out in 2020. Um, I'm debating between two different topics. They're both already written. Just trying to see what the Lord makes me, uh, well, not makes me, but leads me towards. So be on the lookout. It will be out in 2020. Okay. What else we got? Uh, but my first three books are available. Yep. Uh, so we have 23 and finally loving me, which is a journey of self love. Talk about unpacking your baggage, talking about I'm really doing the work to heal and process and develop all the things that I've been through. And I promise you, there's at least one thing that I've been through that you also can relate to. Um, Everyone who's read the book gives me feedback that like, yo, I felt like you were writing for me, the seventh, third, et cetera. Very open, very honest conversation about healing and self-love. The second book is When Life Gives You Lemons. It talks about like, what do you do when life gives you limits. Like, what do you actually do? So it's kind of like a formula to overcoming the challenges of life, um, persevering through those challenges, etc. Book number three is Life After Loss. This book is specific to the surviving the grief of miscarriage and not only surviving the grief of miscarriage, but how do you support people through that process? Okay, so when I was going through my miscarriage with the twins, there was a lot of, oh, it takes time. Oh, you know, just give yourself time to grieve. I'm like, okay, but what am I supposed to be doing in this time? Like, what do I actually do to process this grief? So after figuring out what worked for me, um, I was challenged by my mama. And if y'all know Mama Tina, y'all know I'm serious. Okay, challenged by my mama to be the resource that I needed. And so I decided to sit down and process and walk the audience through um, what I did, what worked, what didn't work, things you can try, suggestions, etc. Everyone's grieving process is going to be different. However, it is a great resource to be able to walk you through the steps of grief. And I do believe it's helpful for people, even if you have not miscarried, but you're suffering from grief in general. Um, I definitely think it's a great resource in general for processing that grief. And there's a whole chapter dedicated to how do you support people through that process, things you probably shouldn't say and why, and things that are better alternatives if you feel the need to say something, how you can show up for people who are hurting, who are grieving in a way that's effective and efficient. Um, and how you can better understand their grieving process. Because what I've recognized about miscarriage specifically, if you've not gone through it, it's really hard to understand. It's really hard to understand. And not only were there not a lot of resources for me, but even to this day, my mom is still trying to figure out, like, how do you parent a child who's lost a child? Like, how do you deal with all of that? So this book serves as that resource. Um, It is... I don't know, my gift to the world, I guess. I don't know. Um, But my efforts to provide um, guidance and support through that process, um, whether you are grieving or whether you are loving someone who is grieving. Awesome. So those are the first three books. Book number four will be out very soon. Make sure you're on my email list. My email list will get that information first. What else do we have? I don't know, y'all. It's a lot going on, but I like that, though. Oh, and how can I forget? Y'all know I do coaching services, right? So I do business development coaching. I also do uh, personal development coaching. And within my personal development coaching, we go over um, topics like time management, okay? Self-care. Physical health. Okay, fin- what whatever you need, financial management, all that fun stuff, get you on track. And then with business development, we go through a little bit of some of the personal development because what I've recognized is you are your business, particularly when you're first starting out. So if you're not good, your business is not good. Okay, so even in the, per- the business development sessions, we start off with personal development for at least one week because it's a foundational skill. But then we also go into marketing, branding, strategic planning, social media, um, 
product development, skills analysis, you name it, we'll get into it, okay? So um, I'm currently offering six-week strategic planning, uh, whether you need that for your personal life, whether you need that for your business life, holla at your girl. Make sure you visit nicolesnetwork.net slash coach and, you know, schedule your free consultation. I'm giving out free consultations, okay? Free consultations just to figure out if this is even the right program for you because if it's not the right program for you I don't want you to sign up for it honestly I want to make sure that the the clients that I'm working with are ready excited eager and ready to get to work okay and if you're not ready to get to work then you may not be my client and that's okay no love lost but that free consultation is a great opportunity to figure out am I the coach for you and are you the client for me Cool. So make sure you schedule your free consultation. Get in where you fit in. Okay. What else? I don't know, y'all. But definitely make sure y'all subscribe. There'll be lots of fun little messages as we go. Um, holla at your girl. Make sure you um, subscribe to the podcast. Follow me on Instagram um, at Tierra Nicole Riley. Follow my nonprofit at Life After Loss Nonprofit. Yeah. That's it. That's all I get. Okay, bye.